smack them a gob. Hey, what's up, everybody? You know what time it is. It's time for classic versus suck. Yes, one of these episodes where I put classic Van Halen versus abysmal Vangina. Now, I don't own OU812 with good reason, but I took notes. Um, well, yeah, I mean, you all know I'm biased, right? And, uh, but, you know, I'm going to shock some of you people that you just think that I just have this hard on for Hagar and nothing he'll ever do I uh, like and anything like that. But I was surprised about one thing on this album. One song surprised, I mean, totally shocked me, actually. And it has everything to do with Sammy Hagar. So stick around, because it won't be long before I talk about that track. So, why don't we get into this, all right? So, here we go. Um, starting off, man, this is not in order, is it? Uh, no, it's not, but you know what? I have it memorized. Just to show you I have it memorized. You're no good, dancing out of way. Somebody get me a doctor. Bottoms up, out of love. Light up the sky, Spanish fly, DOA, woman in love, and beautiful girl. See, I have that shit memorized. Where OU812, obviously I don't. But I'm going to take the vinyl out anyway. Just in case I forget a song, you know, while I do this. Because, you know, unlike a lot of you out there uh, that can't admit it, you're forgetful too. Um, so if I forget a track, I know a lot of you will be jumping on it. Pretending that you're not an idiot. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Now, those that think I'm totally biased and I'll never give Hagar any slack, I'm about to do it now because the first track on here is called Mine All Mine. Uh, Mine All Mine. Now, before I go, before I actually praise the fuckhead, it's going against You're No Good. And I'd like to talk about that for a second. You're No Good is a cover song. But it sounds absolutely nothing like the Linda Ronstadt version. Now, Linda Ronstadt version was a hit when I was a kid because I would hear it on the radio constantly. And actually, I don't know nothing about Linda Ronstadt, but I actually like that song. Van Halen's version sounds nothing like it at all. And a lot of people complain about Diver Down has too many covers. Let me tell you something. Even Eddie Van Halen later said, I'd rather fail with an original than have a hit with a cover and he bitched about Diver Down. Now, God bless Eddie Van Halen. I love him. Rest in peace. My favorite guitarist of all time. But he's a Monday morning quarterback. Because there's an interview on YouTube that I discovered not too long ago. Before Diver Down came out, he was praising uh, uh, dancing in the street. Uh, what else was on there? Where Have All the Good Times Gone? Um, Big Bad Bill. What other cover was on there? Uh, oh, Pretty Woman. He was praising this song. And actually, the album wasn't out yet. He already, they already finished recording and it was about to come out. And he was saying what I say. He was saying, look, they don't sound like the originals at all. Dancing in the Street was actually a song written that Eddie wrote that they threw the lyrics on. And, you know, the same thing with, you know, have you heard Where Have All the Good Times Gone by the King? Sounds nothing like it. And I heard Big Bad Bill. It sounds nothing like it. What they did was they wrote songs or they made songs and threw the, the lyrics on it. So it's like half a cover, really. You know, Oh Pretty Woman, I'll give you that, even though it's very, very Van Halenized. Um, it's, it doesn't... It, it just has the riff of Pretty Woman, but it doesn't really sound like the original. So, you know, rest in peace, Edward, but he was a Monday morning quarterback. And the same thing you can say with You're No Good. It sounds nothing like the original. Now, I'm going to talk about My All Mine. Now, I sat down and took notes on this album. So I sat down ready to, you know, goof on how horrible this album is. And I will not disappoint because I will do that. But my oh my, 
Mine all mine. The lyrics are actually good. I mean, this guy, I had no idea he was able to write lyrics like this. It actually is not bad. It's good lyrics. Maybe somebody else wrote them. I don't know. But it doesn't sound like Sammy Hagar lyrics. I'm actually impressed. Now, as the song, it would have been better. What did I write? If it was stripped down, take the keyboards away, beef it up a bit with the brown sound, and it would be good, actually. It's kind of like a hard driving track. And also, you got to take away the ooze. Because those ooze, it's just terrible. Uh, but unfortunately, it's not that way. It's a, uh, there's a plane. Um, what did that thing say in the, in the wall? Oh, mommy, it's a plane. It looks like a bird in the sky. Something like that. Greatest album ever made. The wall, Pink Floyd. That's what I think. Anyway, yeah, I'm very impressed by Sammy Hagar's lyrics on this song. But it's not better than You're No Good. You're No Good is a badass song. Kind of a weird song to open the album, but it's still a badass song. And destroy, you take away the keyboards and everything off Mine All Mine, it still won't beat You're No Good. You're No Good is amazing. So one for Van Halen. I don't even have to take notes. I don't even have to keep score because I know where this is going. And you know that I know that you know that I know. We all know where this is going. All right, the next track is um, Dance the Night Away. I love that song. And to show you I'm not biased, David singing that song now is embarrassing. I mean, I'm glad he's retiring. The guy has lost it. But he, I don't care, though, because I have my memories of when I saw him back in the day. And that's how I prefer to remember Dave and Van Halen. Oh, he was never good live, not even in the 80s. Oh, shut your yap. I don't think that. You're crazy if I think like you, if you think that stuff. Um, he was great in the 80s. Oh, and that one's going against when it's love. All right, this is what I wrote. Fucking abysmal track. Lacks t testosterone. Annoying from the front to the back. You know, in that, you know, ah, 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 Jesus. And Sammy is back to his stupid fucking lyrics. A philosophical guru of love, cheating on his wife, should be part of the lyrics. Because that's what he was good at back then, on his wife back then, when he would cheat on her groupies. How do I know when it's love? I can't tell you as I cheat on my wife. How do I feel when it's love? Fuck if I know, bring in the groupies. And to cap it off the way the song ends. Na, 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 na. Oh, Lord Almighty. Woo. Song sucks more than a white hooker in the ghetto. That's what I think. Next, next track was, um, Somebody get me a doctor. Beyond classic. What a tune. What's that going against? AFU naturally wired. Uh, why does it sound like a band trying so hard? Why? Because it's Van Hagar. Vangina, I'm sorry. Vangina. And, uh, I mean, this is the band that wrote, you know, uh, I'm the one and the full bug. And those fucking lyrics on this song. Pumping me up for the show. Total jock rock stuff. Pump. I'm pumped up, man. I'm, I'm pumped you up. Uh, and then it says, feel like something's gonna blow. Yeah, of course. Because Van Hagar blows. I mean, Vangina. Uh, gee. What a, what a tough thought. Which one would win? I'll let you know at the end when I tally up the score. Um, all right, what's next? Come on, my, 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 my baby. Bottoms up, 
Fuck yeah, man. What a killer, real party song. Not your, like, you know, uh, Mas Tequila bullshit where he's trying to. This is the real deal, man. Um, and what's that going against? Is that going against Cabo Wabo? Yeah. Cabo Wabo. This sucks hard. You know, again, with the ooze in the song. Lifeless riff, pedestrian groove, flat out boring. Bottoms up. Next track is my favorite track off the album and my second favorite Van Halen song, Out of Love Again. My first is on fire. I don't love again that groove. Gank, 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 down, down. And Dave, oh my God, what a song. And I'll tell you, man, that song, Alex Van Halen is the VIP. Listen to Alex Van Halen and I don't love again. He's going ape shit. You know, the whole band is tight and they're all awesome, but, you know, Alex rises above the rest on this tune. What an underrated, amazing drummer. Only underrated because he had a brother that was the greatest guitar player that ever lived, in my opinion. And that one's going against uh, Source of Infection. This is what I wrote about this opus. Uh, it's Hoffa Teacher Part 2. Worst sequel ever. Uh, with Dave, you had I Don't Feel Tardy. I wonder what the, uh, the teacher's going to look like this year. But Sammy writes, and I'm going to recite these lyrics. I had to write them down. Woo, how about ya? Come on, dig it. That's right. Is everybody's ready? Ooh, ouch. Now, over, wax it down. Ready, set, go. Go fuck yourself. Fuck that song. What a fucking shitty song. Terrible. All right. That's, uh... That's the end of side one. Let me pick a random album, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually look because I have the Van Halen section here, and I'm going to pick a Van Halen album. And I know for damn sure there's no Sammy Hagar down there, but seriously, I'm just going to pick. I know because I see the box set. I have the live album box set where Dave sounds shitty on it. Not all of it because he sounds good on some tracks. And I'm going to pick... I picked two of them. And they're both albums back to back. Fair Warning and Diver Down. And you're right, this album's awesome. This, is, this and Van Halen 2 are the ultimate beach albums. And Fair Warning, what can I say? Man, fucking thing's classic. Most people's favorite Van Halen album. And it's the least selling, not counting, you know, uh, Van Halen 3, A Different Kind of Truth. But as far as like, you know, so that shows you how album sales really don't matter. Even though Van Halen won in 1984 alone, sold more than all Van Hagar albums, Vangina albums, and they all went number one. All right. So we flipped the albums over and we got Light Up the Sky, Light Them Up. Ooh. Oh man, Dave's voice on that song. Dave can't sing. Dave sucks. Sammy's better. Yeah, okay, whatever, man. Whatever. Here, let me pat you on the head. Good boy. Good boy. Um, what's that going against? Ugh. Feel so good. Now, I remember seeing this song on MTV back in the day. And this is around the time where it finally dawned on me. You know, it's like, God damn, did this band fucking... I never seen a band get worse ever. I mean, even Def Leppard, you know, after Pyromania was better than crap like this. And believe me, I hate Pyromania. I mean, not Pyromania, Hysteria. I love Pyromania. Hysteria and on, I mean, but it's better than Vangina, in my opinion. Uh, this is what I wrote about this. Just when you think it can't get worse, that fucking keyboard sound sounds like Barney the Dinosaur farting. It does. Um, and more poser lyrics about love and adding more oohs to the song. You know, I'll send a message in the bottle. You know, I'll send one too. And it says, you suck. It may be the worst Vangina song ever. Now that is saying something, you know. Uh, the only thing impressive about this song, 
uh, it out sucks all the other Van Hagar songs. That's impressive because it's pretty hard to out suck Vangina songs. But this one did it. If anybody can do it, it's Vangina. Um, can you guess which one won on my half? I mean, really, man. I mean, I would look. I'm not going to goof on anybody. I'm being serious now. Because I really do believe that anybody that likes Van, Van, I'll even be nice about it. Van Halen with Sammy Hagar. Oh, man, that hurts saying that. <clears throat> but anybody out there, ow, that, that, that likes that, I have no problem with you. Seriously, man. I hate bands, not fans, you know? So, you know, I, but, yeah, I, I, I have to ask this question. Is there anybody out there that would pick Feel So Good over Light Up The Sky? Now, I will not make fun of you. I will not look down on you. I really am curious because I would respect, I totally respect the opinion of anybody that say, I think Feel So Good is better than Light Up The Sky. I'm just curious to think if that's possible, if there is anybody out there. Please leave a comment below. And I would appreciate if you did do it with honesty because I think that's badass, man. Well, you don't give a fuck what I think. And you don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. You stick to what you like. And that goes to all you Sammy Hagar fans out there. Fuck what I think, man. If you like it, that's what matters, not what I think. A lot of people should be like me. Everybody should be like me when it comes to respecting people's musical opinions. All right, so... um. Okay, that's the end of that. Then we got Spanish Fly, which is a short, what is it? 58 second um, instrumental of Eddie. Pretty much do an eruption on acoustic guitar. I absolutely love it. It's fucking awesome. What's that going against? What's that, what's that winning against? Uh, black and blue. Uh, what did I write this? Jocking and rocking with this track. It's a mid-tempo slinging shit song. And you know the song says, the wetter the better. More like the lamer and tamer. No, I'm going with that impressive acoustic solo. It's amazing. All right, what's that going? Oh, it's next. They found a dirty face, get in a garbage can. DOA, what a song. All right. Uh, DOA is going against Finish What You Started. I re this song was kind of a hit, you know. I remember Sammy Hagar said in an interview at the time, oh, Finish What You Started, it's just Eddie again showing, you know, something different, you know, like, like reinventing, you know, because that's what Eddie did, really. He did first album had Eruption, second album Spanish Fly, same thing, you know, and also he did... You know, like, even the stuff he does in some of the songs, like, um, Somebody Get Me a Duck, da -na 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 -na, the volume knob thing, nobody was doing that shit at the time. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of things on Van Halen, too, that were never done, you know. And then, what's the next one? Um, uh, Women and Children First. What did he do unique on that? Um, you know, just the solo. He just did a lot of cool, all, all that sound effects he was doing in the beginning of uh, uh, Everybody Wants Some. Then Fair Warning, the beginning of Mean Street. And uh, then Diver Down had uh, Cathedral. And uh, 1984 had, well, I, I, I'd say 1984, he, well, I mean, he, the, the beginning of it, 1984, the keyboard thing. That was new to Van Halen at the time. And to this day, that is the only, the only Van Halen song I don't like. I like Jump. I like, um, I'll, I'll love, I, I'll wait, I really love. Jump is okay. Uh, I've had people online, you know, say to me, oh, they, you know, the, 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 it's funny how they defend Van Hagar with all the keyboard shit, but they slam Jump and I'll wait as if they're, Oh, but that sucked, but what they did with Van Halen. Really? I mean, I respect anybody's musical opinion, but I think you're a tad biased there. And you can call me biased all you want, but I said it, man. Sammy Hagar is the worst lyricist I ever heard, and I'm impressed by Mine All Mine lyrics. 
I thought they were great. And I liked uh, Love Comes Walking In, and I liked Human Being, you know? And I liked the live version of his solo song, uh, I Don't Need Love. I like, you know, so if I'm so biased, um, nothing compared to you dick twats out there that, that think that, you know, jump and I'll wait suck, but yet stuff like feel so good is better. <laughs> You're biased, man. You're more biased than me, and that's pretty bad. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, Sammy saying that. What did Eddie do? I mean, seriously, what did I write here? It's like, what is new about finish what you started, what Eddie's doing? You know, I've heard Toothless Hillbilly music like that way before Vangina, you know, did it, you know? And how about that part? Baby, 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 baby! Oh, God damn. Fuck this song. Finish what Vangina started is what I was looking forward to. And when it did happen, and it's finished, it was glorious. Next song. Woman in Love. Beautiful, awesome song about, you know, lesbians, and Dave couldn't hang with lesbians. Hey, man, preference, that's his preference. I could hang with lesbians. You know? Hey, hey, if you love a woman more than me, then I should be gone. Now, if you love a woman more than me, can I join? That's my philosophy. But let's keep going. And what's that going against? Uh, oh. Whew. Sucker. In a three-piece suit. I mean, the title alone. Sucker. I mean, who the fuck uses that? You sucker. I mean, god damn, that's so stupid. Um, you know, if you think the title is stupid, it has the fucking lyrics to match it. And I had to write down these lyrics. I mean, this is... I mean, look at this bookmark. Excellent lyrics with uh, uh, Mine All Mine. To this, on Sucker in a Three-Piece Suit. And I quote, <laughs> this is really good. Uh, She's so fine. How about a 9 to a 10 scale? With long legs straight up to her lunch pail. I'm not making this up. This is actually, I mean, you know Eddie had a serious drinking problem if he okayed these lyrics. But you know that Eddie did come out later. And say, I should have paid more attention because some of those Sammy lyrics, he even bashed his lyrics. Um, then, wait, I'm not done with the lyrics yet. Then he goes, woo, sweet little wishbone. Oh, yeah. Don't want to break her in half. Lick it up one side and down the other. Away, make, and always make her laugh. Ha, ha. And yeah, no, wait, wait, there's still more. He says, a uh, he's got a big old belly, a stone bald head. Now listen here, honey, that ain't down your alley, no. Huh? <laughs> oh! <laughs> you know, that is pretty much... You know, uh, like, have you heard Up for Breakfast from, from Vangina? It's pretty up there with that. It's in the echelon of Suckdom. Right there, right there, there. It's even. Okay, now we go to the last track. Now, that was technically the last track, but there's a bonus track, which is a cover. Uh, but first, we're going with Beautiful Girls, like Ultimate. You know, kicking back on the beach, looking at the pretty girls in bikinis. Mm. What a, you know, your toes in the sand. You know, I live in South Florida, you know. And there I there was countless times that I had the boom box blaring Van Halen to and and Diver Down. You know, those just the vibe, it's like I used to drink back then, having a cold beer. And, you know, enjoying the sun and the beautiful girls and the scenery, you know, and Van Halen playing that amazing stuff, you know. The only thing that can ruin that is, you know, take the tape out and put in Vangina doing Summer Nights in my radio. My radio would have broke. My, my, my boombox was too cool for that shit. Um, 
Beautiful girls, rules. And that one's going against this cover of political blues. You know, I don't like most blues to begin with, you know. And you put Vangina, you know, it takes it all up to a very lower level. It's a shitty cover from a shitty song. All right, so now I'm going to tally up the score. There's 10 tracks on both these albums. I mean, including the bonus track on OUA 2. So Van Halen 2 got 10. And uh, OUA 12 got... Zero U812. Oh, that's what I think. If you think differently, leave a comment in the comment section below, but be respectful because I can make you disappear from my channel if you're a douchebag, if you're a pickle whistler. Just like that. That's the beautiful thing about YouTube. I can make you disappear. Because when you're on my channel and you leave disrespectful things on my comments, I instantly turn you into my bitch and make you disappear. So thank you for watching, everybody. If you'd like to donate, I got a PayPal in the description below. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. All right? And, you know, what the fuck? Lunch pail? For real? Ugh. As Diamond Dave says, stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack of a gob. <laughs> <laughs>